Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, TTGO T Display Open Weather One Call Mashup, I got this comment just recently that he's looking for version four of Open Weather, but he's saying I'm using a T Display S3. Has anyone updated their code? And my observation going from ESP32 to ESP32 S3 is it's not just a matter of, op of changing the code a little bit. Yeah, we got to unbox it and learn about the features. You can check that video out. They've also kind of dropped the TT Go. So it's just the Lily Go T Display S3. I don't have the touch version. I've just got the base S3 version. Here's the example sketches you can run in Arduino IDE or Platform IO. I'm going to work with Arduino IDE. Now I'm kind of keen looking at this board manager URL. It looks like the old one. You see it ends at package ESP32 index JSON, but that's the old URL because I know I just looked up the new uh, Espressive board manager URL. Let's see. So let's go into preferences. Yeah, additional board manager URLs. And you see this one's shorter and it points to GitHub, but it's still that package ESP32 index JSON file. So that should be the same. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave this URL just the way it is because that would affect the operation of the whole Arduino IDE. Yeah, and this is saying that the board package 2014 and up TFT ESPI won't work. So you have to roll that back. Yeah, it says TFT ESP does not work on versions higher than 2014. So downgrade to a version below 2014. And you saw we were at 311 there. So <laughs> let's go back there and make that adjustment. Yeah, I'm going to remove the version 311 board manager package for ESP32. I'm just going to follow the instructions to the letter. You know, if I don't follow the instructions and get to the end and something doesn't work, well, then it's probably because I didn't follow the instructions. So uh, you're welcome to try this at home and do something different. <laughs> and if you leave a comment saying, well, I did something different and it didn't work, it'll be like, well, okay. Yeah, so this says download the T-Display S3 main zip file and copy it into your uh, Arduino libraries folder. And it also says go into the library folder in the package and copy these libraries into the libraries folder. The problem I have is those libraries are already in the libraries folder and we'd be overwriting stuff. Yeah, see, when Lily goes working on the T-Display S3, they create, they fork all of the libraries and modify them for, specifically for that device and then package it all together. So you have to use the libraries that come with their package. So I'm going to go to Documents, Arduino, Libraries, and I'm just going to rename it. And I'll just put a date on there. It'll set off a bell. Yeah, I was making the T-Display S3 video on that day, and that's, our, that's my rollback there. And now we're going to need a new Libraries folder. New folder, Libraries. Yeah, it's interesting. It seems like they dropped the TT Go monitor. It's just Lily Go T Display S3. Okay, we see the uninstalls finished. So I'm going to go 2013 and install that. So we're rolling the board manager package to version 2.0.13. All right, this is going to take some time. So we might jump around and do something else here. I don't like watching progress indicators. I work in IT for work, and you know, if I could get my life back from all the time I've spent watching progress indicators. My favorite one is the progress indicator that starts over again. <laughs> That's not really a progress indicator. It's an activity indicator. Okay, so we're going to go to the top of the library here. We're going to download zip file. And this is a rather large file, so we're not going to watch the entire thing download. Yeah, you see the little slice of pie. It's going pretty slow. Yeah. We'll come back to that in a minute. There we go. Okay, it's down. All right, we can get to work now. Let's go ahead and crack that open. It's a zip file and this is Windows 10 or 11. Oh, this would be Windows 11, this one, yeah. So I can just double click on it, copy that T-Display S3 main and paste it in Arduino 
libraries. So documents, Arduino, libraries. I'm going to crop some of that out. We can see that the 2013 board manager packages have been installed. So I'm copying the library folder over still in the background there. Well, while we're waiting for that, we can configure the board manager settings for the T-Display S3. And it says to use ESP32 S3 dev board, dev module. Yes, yeah, it's the top one. ESP32 S3 dev module. I guess they really want you to use that one. It's at the top. <laughs> yeah. So there's several settings we need to change below that, though. Yeah, there's some settings here we need to change. So let's get this shifted over here, kind of split the screen. There we go. Get these two side by side, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. That's going to make it easier. Yeah, so ESP32 S3 dev module, that's what we selected. I wish this would stay open because after you click on something, it just goes back up and then you have to click in again. So first thing we need to do is enable USB CDC on boot. And the ones that are in bold, you, it says you specifically have to do those. Core level debugs, none. Let's see. USB DFU on boot disabled. Events run on core one. Flash mode is right. Oh, flash size, yeah. We got 16 megabytes of RAM, not four. That's flash memory. 16 megabytes of flash memory. There we go, we got that right. Let's see what's next. Arduino runs on core one. USB firmware is disabled. Oh, partition scheme. Yeah, we definitely need to change that because we've got more flash memory. So we're going to go with 16 meg flash, that 3 megs app, and 9.9 .9 megs of fat FS. So you actually have a lot of f file storage in your flash memory. PS RAM goes from disabled to OPI PS RAM. Let's see. Upload mode. UART hardware CDC is already set. Upload speed is already set. And CDC and JTAG is already set. Yeah. I'm just going to double check my work. You know, that's what I've learned in life is you do something and you double check it. So let's go back through here. Yeah. USP32 dev module. We don't know the serial port yet because we're not plugged in. USB CDC is enabled. CPU frequency is fine. Debug. DFU disabled. Flash mode. Flash size we had to change. Core 1. USB firmware is disabled. Yeah, partition scheme. PS RAM is enabled. And the UART hardware CDC and CDC and JTAG are correct. So now we're ready, essentially, to run example sketches. Okay, we got to finish configuring our library here. So we go into the T-Display S3 main folder, go into the libraries folder. And again, these are already libraries that were in the libraries folder. We would have been overwriting stuff. And these libraries have been forked and modified specifically for the T-Display S3. Okay, it's taken a little while to copy that over. I cropped something out there. That's fine. And there is my new Arduino libraries folder with everything I need to work with T-Display S3. And here's my original libraries folder with everything just the way it was. Now we can just rename the new libraries folder to libraries T-Display S3 and then rename this one to libraries and we'll be back where we were. So I've done that before with the T-Watch, too, because the T-Watch had some special libraries and it always would overwrite an existing library if you didn't manage it right. So let's see. I'm going to go ahead and open a new sketch window just to make sure we refresh and get everything. All right. Close the old one. I just do that just to make sure it catches all the changes in the files and folders, etc. There's no specific T-Display S3 master example sketches here in the example sketches. So the instructions tell you you have to just browse 
into the Arduino Libraries T Display S3 main folder example sketches. So here we go T Display S3 main examples. And there's the sketches. Okay, so you just open up the folder and double click on the INO files. But those are the example sketches we'll be able to explore. So stay tuned for that. I just wanted to make this video specifically about getting everything set up correctly. Uh, I want you to get off a good start. If this is the first time working with uh, T Display S3, and we can see in the next video if what we did worked or not. <laughs> I think I'll start out with Hello World. Look for the links down below to the GitHub site. Look for the links to the Amazon product page. That's the TTGO T Display S3. Give this video a like. Leave a comment down below. And before you go watch more of my T Display videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.